What's going on, everybody? So, behind me is potentially a new project. I have been tasked with getting this thing started, and I might take it home with me. I don't know yet. Uh, but this is a 1989 Chevy S10 Cameo. There were only like 2,500 of them ever made. It's really rare. It's I haven't even looked under the hood yet. All I know is that it should be a 350. Uh, it looks like from inside it does have a manual, which is really cool. Now, obviously, it's not the stock trains and everything, which, you know, is would have been preferred. But I'm really excited. I kind of want to just jump into it right now. Let's get the tools. All right, so I'm going to do the classic bicycle garage and start with the trunk. This is a really nice trunk. It's a really nice hard top. It's got the hinges. I think they work. I, I'm so excited. Oh, my God. It's beautiful. It's 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 sprayed on bed line. It's got carpet on the bottom. It's got a it's got a battery from holy shit. It's got a battery from 2006. I see a four barrel car, metal rock, ooh, some metal box, heat stuff, and stock radios. I gotta get you guys in here. First of all, can we just appreciate that all of the tires have air? I just I really want to appreciate that. That's got a battery from 2006. That's got a four barrel carb. It's got a lot of oil in there. It's got all the stock radio stuff, which is pretty cool. But look at this. I mean, it's all bed line. It's got, there's, there's carpet on the bottom. It came with a hammer, which is amazing. Uh, looks like we've got some heat shield from Summit. And, oh, look at this. That's the original headliner. That's that center council headliner thing. That thing's sweet. Got some windshield wipers. So nothing super alarming other than this carb, which hopefully means that there's a new one in there and that it was fixed. But this one, on the other hand, it could have some uh, fuel issues. This old carb. Uh oh, this might be the new one. It's got a new gasket. Well, I guess we're gonna find out. Let's go. Let's go to the cab. I really wanna see the cab. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at the interior on those guys. Look at the interior, I mean. This is a Minnesota car, everybody. That is amazing. Oh, it's got really nice seats. It's got a different headliner in it. That's where you saw that other thing. Oh, look at that, yep. Five speed. Hell yes. It's got S10 Tahoe interior, which is not the original stuff. Oh my God, this is cool. This is really cool. Oh my god, it's amazing. We have brakes. Yup, we've got brakes. Yeah. So what a clutch. Clutch is very stiff. Oh my god. It's a good thing I know how to drive a manual. Dude, the trans feels brand new. I am so effing excited. So effing excited. Alright, let's pop under the hood. This thing's pretty dusty, but I don't think it's been sitting that long. I really don't think it's been sitting that long. There's still air in the tires. I mean, it looks, it's got some paint shifting here and there, but it is beautiful. Oh my god. Let's see if I can figure out how to open the hood. Open sesame. Dude, it's got aftermarket horns in here. That's sick. Am I special? Dude, how the f do I open the hood? Oh, here we go. Yeah, oh, it's just special. Oh, it's beautiful. It is better than I expected. Come on. The battery was never unplugged. Interstate, so it should still work. Oh my god, it's amazing. That's weird. This battery is like a half top post, half side post. So this is the engine bay. It's beautiful. I mean, look at that. Chrome, chrome covers, chrome everything. It's obviously got power steering. It's got it's got AC. Holy. Oh, look at that clearance, though. Oh. oh, that almost just fell on my head. 
Yeah, look at this. Look at this shit. We got. It's a good thing I have a new one of these. We got a, a top post and then a side post right here. Now this was not disconnected, so I'm gonna take a wild guess and say batteries don't work no more. Doesn't look like mice even got into it. There's a towel here for some reason. Got some mouse stuff in it. Let's just see what this baby. Yeah, look at that cameo right there. This truck is amazing. Let's see what this guy has to offer us. Please don't let there be any mice. Oh my God, it's beautiful. It's brand new. It's, it's still got tape on the inside. Oh my God, what do I do? What the hell do I do? This is amazing. Look at this carb. Look at this effing carb. This carb is beautiful. Dude. This is gonna be the easiest, look at all these wires though. Wires are a little sketch, but I'm used to that. Damn. Like, I don't even know where to, be, where to begin. This has not been sitting that long at all. Well, I don't know. I don't know how I'm supposed to get to that, but you know, we'll figure that out later. All right, let's pull the dipstick out. Go black. It smells old. Yep, that makes sense. Wow. Well, I just want to hear this thing fucking start before I change the oil on it, that's for sure. Get in a hole. Are you too good for your hole? Oh my god. Oh, oh, come on. Why aren't you going in your hole? All right, we're just gonna cut when I actually get this in the damn hole. So, that's longer than I'd like to admit. Dipstick is back in. Uh, if we come in here and take a closer look at everything, you can see it's actually been worked on. It's been worked on right. Looks like I've worked on it. So, we have a clear view filter right here. So, I, I bought one of these and, well, I guess I don't have to use it anymore. We got zip ties everywhere on this thing, which is amazing. I mean, all of the entire rate, oh my God. Oh my God. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? Why is there no hose on the bottom? Now I'm a little confused. Where the hell did that, where's, oh, oh. Well, found the hose. This guy was smart when he put it away. Wait, but where's the... So, there are mice in there, okay. It's good to know. So what do we, ha what do we have going on here? Like. I'm just a little confused now. So how does this connect to that? Look at all the duct tape in here. Look at all the, the hose clamps that are being used. For some reason this guy really wanted to keep the AC. That's for sure. Well, I'm kind of curious to see if this thing even starts over. How old is his battery? Well, it's an old battery. Let's see if it even starts over. All right, so new battery in. I'd buy a new terminal, but that was it. The new battery in. Let's go see what happens when I turn the key. Okay, so I'm in here. Turn the key. Oh my god, dude. I think this thing will turn over. Let's just see if it, it'll even turn over. Well... Honestly, let's just see if it turns over. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's gonna run. It's gonna run. Does this guy work? What more do you need? I never said I would check the consent council. Wow. It's got Jimmy manuals. It's got S10 manuals. Wow, that's pretty cool. Dude, everything, the, the radio works. The sounds definitely work. Do the lights work? Let's see. I wanna go see if this guy's work. That one works, and that one works. Oh my god, dude, this is this is gonna be too easy. So that marker light doesn't work, but headlight works. Headlight works. Oh wait. Now I'm confused. Oh, look at those. Yes, we got those ones down there. 
So that marker light doesn't work. What do the fog lights work? Oh my god, yeah, that's uh kinda not gonna work. Damn. <laughs> right here. That's gonna be negative, they did not work. Okay, so this was off camera, but I just opened the brake cover. Look at this. Look at how perfect that is. You know how amazing that is? And I might not have to fuck with brakes. Yes. Let's get this thing started, dude. I wanna, I wanna pop this thing off. I think it's ready. I'm gonna put some oil in her and call it a day. It's about a few quarts low. I'm gonna throw this back on, put some oil in her, and she she, she, she pops off. All right, so now that I pretty much just started, <coughs> I'm gonna choke it and I'm gonna see if I can start it. I just put oil in it, so it's got plenty of oil now. I'm just kind of impatient and I want to start it. Hey, it's got washer fluid. Good old O'Reilly Black Brake Clean. Dude, it just started. It literally just started. This thing runs amazing. That's the tiny bit of brake clean. I can't seem to get any fuel in here though, which is kind of worrying me. Oh, oh, we were getting fuel. We were getting fuel. Let's try it again. Dude, that's just pouring out fuel right here. Oh my god, look at that. I found why it's not starting. See all that down there? All that wetness? Yeah, that's fuel. So, luckily I got a new one of these. And, yeah, I can fix that. But, well, that's why that's not working. Well, let me go fix that. Okay, I'm back. I got a new filter right here. Um, let me just replace the old one, call good. So my dilemma, those are not the right sizes. And I can't just take the guy out like this one. Oh, that's probably was why it was leaking right there. Oh my God, yeah, that's, that was never gonna work. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, well, what do I do? I have some line, but I need a line to go from right there. I think I'm gonna have to make a quick run out of Riley's. We'll see. Okay, so these are the two oil filters. This is the new one I bought, this is the old one. Uh, obviously, this line is not the same. It's way different. Like, if you were to put this right here, yeah, it's way different. And then also, see that moves freely and like almost comes off. It's because the glass isn't connected that anymore. This one, new one, does not do that. So, this one, junk. Well, rallies it is. All right, so after the next guys at O'Reilly's helped me out, uh, I got the parts I need to be able to fix the fuel leak. I have extra oil to do oil change. I just want to make sure that it works before I dump money in an oil change. Yeah, let's fix this fuel leak, and then uh, let's get after it. Just like that. All right. Let's go see. If, let's go see if she fires.
runs perfect. It literally runs perfect. How does it fuel? Yeah, look at the fuel. The fuel's even perfect. I don't see any chunks in there. Dude. I think I want to put some 91 on this, do an oil change. Call it good. I might want to back it out a little bit, though. Actually, here comes the next test. Let's see if it'll move. All right. Let's see if it moves. Some clanky going on up here. I don't know. Well, using this nice man's jack, uh, I'm gonna see what the hell's wrong with the coolant, and then if I can do an oil change, which I don't have an oil filter. My smart ass forgot to get one. I thought I got one, but don't know where it is, so I'll have to look for that later. So I don't know if it goes down, but I know it goes up. This, my friend, is an old school jack. Very, very old school. Okay, this is gonna take a while. Oh god. That's not work. I don't really trust this jack, honestly, so. Oh, look at this. So now I won't die if it falls on me. That makes me happy. And then Dude, it's got a shiny oil pan too. That's nice. Good news, there's coolant in here. If it wasn't completely empty, that's good. All right, I'm just gonna record this in case none of the whole fucking thing falls on me. Um, gonna be pretty funny. If it falls on me and I don't get it, I'm gonna be pretty bad. Dude, these tires are literally brand new. Brand new wheels and tires. They still have the studs on them, oh my God. I don't see any metal flakes, but this is a 13 16 bolt. And there's supposed to be a nylon ring that goes around as like the O ring. Half of it was missing when I took it off. So I gotta go to Wiley's again, get a filter for this thing. And then, holy shit, I ran it with like <laughs> two quarts of oil. That's really not good. All right, well, another trip to Wiley's. Here we come. All right, so I wasn't gonna bore everyone with the process of changing the oil because it's pretty easy, pretty simple. Not that exciting. But after many runs to O'Reilly's later and lots of money spent, we should be good. I'm gonna lower it back down, put some oil in her, start it a few times at the same time, make sure the coolant's good and the coolant's flowing. And yeah, let's see. All right, the cool old school jack out of here. Let's dump some oil on her, call it a day, shall we? Let's go. My knees are getting a workout for some reason. I don't know why. Woo! Woo! It's close to the top. Stay. Stay. Come on, bud. We're almost there. I'm going to come in here and do the other side too. Just so I can move up both sides. Oh, there's five quarts gone. Just like that. 
So now, honestly, as soon as I get everything bled through, yeah. I don't see anything leaking yet. Good start. Uh, let's see what our dipstick says. Hon of oil. She's got oil, she's got coolant. What more do you need? Go ahead and fire this baby up. Got some noisy valves, that's for sure. Oh, it's flying it up a little bit. Dude, it's idling perfect. You see that? Fuel looks good. I'm waiting for this uh, thermostat to open. Nice, that goes away. Still just the seatbelt. So the oil, so the water temp is going up, so that's good. That's very good. I see nothing leaking. Burning out some oil in the exhaust. That's about it. Hell yeah. See if I can't go for a drive quick. Can I clear it up? God damn, look at that thing. It's fucking beautiful. That is beautiful. I love it. Yeah, those don't work, but. I can get those running. Alright.
face for some reason. 